Yeah, we're having a little party. A couple of girls down here. Slash is stopping by this morning. Slash? Yeah, from Guns N' Roses. Well, how'd that happen? He coming to the party? Yeah, he heard there was a party, so he said he'd get over here. Slash coming in. Is he staying for the whole day, or is he not? Is he leaving the festivities early? I'm not bringing him to scores later. If that's what you mean. That's what all the guys were saying. They said, you know, you can't bring these rock stars with you. Yeah, because when you go to a strip club. Yeah, because they get all the girls. <laughs> What do you think about what's going on in the studio right now? In the studio? I haven't seen it yet, but I just want to see the chicks coming. Like, whoa. <laughs> I have to be totally honest. Yeah, I can't lie. No, what are you doing? They asked me if I wanted a massage. I was about to give up my guitar and my clothing for one. Yeah, they closed And what are you doing here today? I'm going to talk. We're going to, you know, me and Eric, where's it? We're going to talk to Howard. You're going to buy some stuff for him? Well, yeah, just all selling those cyclonic cookers? No, we brought our guitars so you could see how finely crafted they were. We got to bust up the massage party because Slash got married. He won't come in with the girls? Yeah, he's a little uptight. Uh, You're kidding. I don't blame him. Uh, Why are you, um... Pussy. What? Not surprised. I'm, uh, what does it mean? That he can't be in here with girls just because he's married? Well, what if he goes wild and his wife, you know... Well, that's a problem. Yeah, if he doesn't you, know how to control himself, that's another question. He's a rock star. He doesn't have, he's not able to control himself. No control, himself. huh? That's his We're having a good time, too. I mean, Ronnie's getting his back shaved. And... Wait a minute. So you're actually telling me Slash said he can't come in with the girls? Yeah, yeah well, yeah, he'd prefer not to. Howard. But you know what? I want to talk to Slash anyway, so it's kind of hard when girls are rubbing you down. Oh, oh, you'd be distracted? I think I would. I don't know if it would be a real good conversation. You could sit in a chair right. while Slash is in there and yeah. have the girls working your feet. The other guys can continue to get their massages. Slash can sit in another chair. Yeah. And yeah, maybe, can I could stuff, maybe I could stuff one of the girls yeah. under the console while I interview Slash. Sure. Well, you don't have to yeah, that'll either. be good. Yeah. Hey, girls, you don't mind getting stuffed under the console, do you? Stop, stop. <laughs> right, we got a party. Stop, stop, stop. All right, Scott, let me in that chair. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> I'll just shove one of the girls under the console. Yeah, you don't have to, like, let all the so girls go. They just won't bother Slash. They're there for you. Well, Slash wants to play and stuff. He can play, can he? I don't know. I don't know. He's don't played know. his whole life. What's he got to play now? <laughs> <laughs> He's got some kind of new album or something out. I know. I know. <laughs> right. Oh, shut up, Jackie. I know you're in heaven, but... <laughs> Jackie's getting his rub down. <laughs> yeah. Check it out. Hey, look at... Ja hey, look at... Um, look at... Um, Ron Ronnie's back. Free OJ. That's what it says. Free OJ on there. See, we're behind him 100%. Yeah. <laughs> well, let Gary go check out with Slash if that's okay. Oh, how can he object? I don't These know. These are our guests. He's a rock star. Yeah. What? I didn't hear what you said. Where's a, hey, do you think that I could interview Slash? Uh, He's done. With the guys getting their massages and I'll sit the in The girls chair? won't bother yeah, him. The premise, we need like a lot of room for Slash. Oh, well, we need two. Room. Okay. Well, why don't you let me just talk, start talking to him? Yeah, okay. hey, you're going to interview him first. Yeah. Then I can throw the penthouse pet underneath the console. Let it work on me. Touch Howard, not Slash. All right, who, hey, which girls haven't worked on me yet? Me! Us. Yeah? <laughs> you they girls? really want to, Howard. Do they? Yeah. You girls mind getting under the console? Not at all. We'll do anything you want. You're doing great okay, thank you. I'm all scared right. what they might do if you... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. You mind if I chop your heads off? Uh, and, uh... <laughs> I want something for me! <laughs> oh no, pussy! Where's Slash? I'm working on He's trying to get a chair in here. Here comes Slash. I have a. Yeah, Slash is a rock star. He, hey, girl. Through before he comes in? Yeah, girls, you better shove yourself under the console. Okay. Hi. <laughs> yeah, get under there and just rub my feet or something. Yeah, rub. No, no, no. They don't, you don't want all the girls under there, do you? Hey, Slash. All right. Hey, there's a rock star. Hey, look at that. Hey, Slash, I'd shake your hand, but I'm covered in massage oil. Hey, I gotta say hey man, how you doing? Hey, good to see you. Take a seat. Hey, Slash, what happened? You went and got married? Huh? Oh, yeah, a long time ago. What'd you do? Right, right after, like, uh... About the time that I talked to you. <laughs> really? What'd you do that for? I got girls here. I know, but I've been, been there, seen it, done it. <laughs> <laughs> He's done it all. You know I it. Feel, I actually fell for somebody that was the most unique girl that could put up with my ass. Is she a stripper? No, I've been with her for five years. It was only two years we've been married. I did a lot of experimenting in the first three. Okay. Hey, do you mind if I get a rub down no, while she's you... she's not a stripper, though. Oh, she's not? She hates strippers because she knows... <laughs> that you like them it's so true. much. She hates them with a passion. Really? I love strippers. I will, you know... 
that's that's the problem. That I I think it's a mutual thing. She yeah. hates the fact that I love him too. Yeah, I mean, he's pierced my belly button. Did you really? Let me say. Tell Slash to put on some that. headphones. Yeah, hey, look at Slash cool. pierced his belly button. Mostly and chicks I, do that, but I called her up. I called her up and I said, "Hi, honey." Yeah. <laughs> I pierced my navel between takes at the video shoot, <laughs> and I it was dead silence. Really, Run, sweetheart. I'm not going to... F- <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Hey, Robin. And then Good you, morning. So you can hear Robin and slash, well. uh, and you pierced your nose, but that's been for a while, right? I just, yeah, that was dumb one night. I stuck an earring in my nose. Oh, you just put it right through? I stuck it in You there. just stuck the earring right through? Yeah. Now, there's a man, Howard. <laughs> Dude, I wasn't going to wear shades in here because I thought I would look like I was trying to be too cool. Go get your shades no, if I you want to. I'm going to. You want shades? <laughs> Where are they? I'll get them for you. Well, you get, you get slash some you know shades. What? Someone get under the console and rub my feet. I can't talk okay, to slash okay. if I'm not getting rubbed. Down. Do you know what time it is? I don't worry about looking too cool. What time zone are you on? Uh, it's about, uh, here it's quarter of nine. Mm. Look at this. Hey, look yeah, at this. You don't get to see. This is amazing if anybody's. Isn't this amazing? Well, this will be on TV. actually on TV? Yeah, we're going to yeah, put it on tonight. Be on TV tonight. Wow. <laughs> yeah, this is a great show. <laughs> this is a good interview. You got Slash, who's the number one rock star. You got girls rubbing you down. Yeah. I even got a mother daughter combination. Why right wouldn't here. you just send him over to the hotel just a little bit earlier so when I woke up, it would have been a little bit more. <laughs> look at this guy, Eric. Hey, Eric, hey. you single? Uh, no. <laughs> no? Actually, no. Huh, too bad. Yeah, but know. you know what? He's weak. Hey, guys. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> he His wife needed dead. to know that, right? You know, no, she's not married yet. Yeah. Hey, you see that girl over there in the black bra? Yes, I do. Yeah. That's her mother over there. Hi, Mom. Yeah. Let me Hi, see. Mom. Hey, you guys are rock stars and everything. Let me see you pull that off. You ever had a mother daughter? Uh, yeah. ever, oh, you have? Oh, Slash, man. you had a mother and a daughter? No, no, not to be funny about it. In the old days, there was a couple people that followed us around. That, we've had some pretty weird people follow us around. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> By the way, don't mind you that. Know, if a mother and daughter team showing up at a hotel waiting outside, That's. I don't care what how perverted you are. It's sort of like, whoa. It gives you pause. God bless you know, free you, enterprise. You sort of want to like, <laughs> yeah. respect the mother and respect, yeah, you know. And then, hey, you, you know what I want? Like, take my daughter. Go ahead. You know what, Slash? It takes me so so long to get someone like you in here. I'm getting too distracted by the women. I'm going to say goodbye to the girls oh, and talk to Slash. All right. Oh, they're getting mad You're at me. You're silly because you can't have the girls there and and talk to Slash. You know That's what, a weakness on your if, part. If he wasn't distracted, that would be a problem. Maybe, it would. Maybe yeah. if you want to if you want no, to show I mean, off, it would yeah. be an insult. You haven't really introduced Slash to the penthouse pet of the century. Yeah, where's the penthouse pet of the century? Lori, come on over. I'm working. She's working. Oh, oh, she's I'm working. My job down here. On you were actually still <laughs> rubbing somebody. Yeah. Yeah. And everybody in the room. But right. <laughs> Thank you. Slash, I promise I won't touch you. <laughs> yeah, hey, Slash, you ought to take your clothes off and get a rub down from her. I'm telling you. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm a professional sexual I'm, healer. I'm married, too, and nothing happens. All right, get away from Slash. He's very weak. <laughs> All right. All right, girls, you go the other guys the down. Girls? Yeah, just for a little while, okay? And then we'll have you back in, girls. God, Take them all out, you Gary. You do this every morning. Whoa. Yeah, I like to get Blows a rub down my, every morning. Blows my mind. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. All right, girls, we'll see you in a few minutes. Don't go away. Uh, no. All right. Please. Go, go. No. Slash, what's going on with Guns N' Roses now? Are you guys making an album? Are you doing anything like well, you, that? Okay. Just, or is Axel being, like, real difficult again? No, it's, it looks, before, before we get on to a bad subject, with all that, let me get this stuff. All right, on. get your shirt off. Um, I think I think uh, Slash wants a rub down. Yeah, right. <laughs> He's taking He's off more clothes. Yes, now. Yeah. <laughs> no, Renee's coming in tomorrow night. So. That's your wife? Yeah. How old is she? She's 30. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, she's I older you than have I like, am. I thought you had like a 19-year-old chippy. Uh, you know what? Let me tell you. <laughs> At 30, they're pretty... Yeah, it's, she's awesome. Yeah, but what are you going to do when she when she gets 40? Then all of a sudden... She'll you're, probably you're, just be that much better. Did yeah. she sign a prenup? I mean, you got, you're got you a multi-billionaire. Uh, we, we don't talk about that stuff. <laughs> really? I know you're dying for it, but... I'm going to make a prediction. Yes, she signed the prenup because Guns N' Roses has management that sits there. Like, you you come off the good guy. Hey, I don't want you to sign this, honey. Actually, These guys are making me... I, I, she and I made a deal together. Right. And so that's very private. So the deal is that you'll take care of her even if you get bored with her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so harsh. No, I'm not trying to be no, harsh, but you know the realities. She wanted to come down here with me just to meet you. Yeah, so where is she? And she she didn't fly in early enough. Oh, that would have been she's good. she's very cool. You'd is be she? like, whoa. Obviously, to live with me. Right. And she's like one in a million. I was like the least likely candidate for marriage. Trust me. Out of yeah, because you were always at strip clubs and stuff. He was, was always bad. partying. Was really Slash even scored with Savannah, right? The one who yeah. killed herself, right? <laughs> right, Slash? I think we called 
killed us while he was doing that. You know, Shish, you scored with her, right? But, well, I mean, uh, on, what's this? What do you mean by score? I mean, you know, you did it to her. You two were friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Shish? We went out together. We had really intellectual conversations together. <laughs> it was deep. I can't believe we just emptied the whole room full of girls, and now we're talking about scoring with Savannah. She was pretty uh, hot, man. I she, don't know what she, happened there. You know what? You know what? It's just because someone wasn't looking out for her. She 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 needed somebody to take care of her. Trust me, I knew her well enough. Tell me what happens when you become famous at such a young age and you can have any woman you want. Does it like get boring after a while? That's why you got married. Like you said, hey, I just want a relationship or something. Let me try something different, like monogamy. Right. <laughs> Is that what happened? Um, well, there, yeah, basically just done seeing it so much to the really? point where. Can you imagine seeing it so much that you well, get bored? No, no, no. Who no. could believe that? Listen, Who said they could believe that? It took a while to trade that for one girl, though. Is that right? Or one. It was a hard <laughs> habit to break, is what you're saying. Yeah, she's I mean, got a perfect it, body. It took a lot of years to, yeah. to get through that. Yeah, but your wife's probably got a perfect body and she's everything. Beautiful. She's beautiful, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Well, well see, for a while, then it was really great. You really loved all the variety and. Oh, yeah, well, it's just it's easy for for a guy. Uh huh. Um, just from my own personal experience, and most of the guys that I know. Yeah. When you're in a band, and all of a sudden the chicks come out of the woodwork, there's yeah. no responsibility whatsoever. They're just there. Yeah. And some of them can be really great friends, but there's no obligation. Uh huh. So you just give a call, you hang out, and you screw. Cool. <laughs> you right. Know? But after a while, I mean, some of those people I'm still really good friends with. They have other boyfriends. Some of them have gotten married. I still talk to them. And girlfriends. You know? Really? And girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> so you've had like a bunch of lesbians in bed with you, and you've taken oh, them away got, for a couple of weeks. great stories. Really? Yeah. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> You skunk. Uh, Come you, here. You would, Let me you smell be, your hand. You would be so into it. I just washed them. Did you, you really? Knowing I, was I don't think you get there. the smell off in one washing, my friend. <laughs> no, it's taken years, right? Really? Quite oh. musky. But listen, just to get... Can you believe just, how famous you are, dude? Oh, dude. Can you believe that? How Come good on, is that? Oh, on, oh, oh, oh. You uptight about that? Um, don't just, get, like, any just, better on me. No, no. But just to get through the, the guns thing and just get it out of the All way. All right, Guns and Roses. Where are you at with Guns is fine. We did a two and a half year stadium tour. You're burnt on that. And then it was like, okay, that's enough of that. I went and built a studio. Studio. I started jamming. Matt came over. We started jamming together. Gilby came over. Then Mike Inez. All of a sudden, I thought, wow, Yeah, I'll do an we album. Got, we got a band. Right. You're not gonna sit it, and wait around for, uh, for for and... Axel to get off his ass well, and no, start singing Axel, again. You know, everybody has their own agendas, and so. Uh, When's the last time you saw Axel? Um, Halloween. Oh, really? No, actually, was it ha Halloween or in the studio when we were doing Sympathy? That was the last time we've seen each other. But we've talked. I mean, because you guys are a great no. band. I mean, what is he no, doing? We, we, is I don't he know retired? What he's I don't know, no, man. We're we're like Guns has always been like. Like this, it's yeah. always been, you know, either we're right there or nobody knows what the hell is going on. Right, no one knows know? what's going on. So you don't know if you're broken up or not. No, we're not. I think you we're need not, to do another album. No, though. we're going to, but it has to be a good one. And yeah, right. So you can't just like force the issue and like uh, it's got to happen. It's just got to happen. And but if you guys why, aren't even in the same like place, hiatus, yeah. Rock. But what do you do? Like, do you well, have to get right together? Now I'm on tour. Do you yeah. have to get yeah. together with Axel and physically sit down with him and write the songs? I mean, because you guys write together, right? As a band, there's no other way to do it. It's a rock and roll. Band. There's got to be a chemistry. And a, so you got to get him to sit down for a couple of you know, months and write. He's willing to sit down. Is he? Yeah. No. Because I'll smack not, him in Izzy, his head. Izzy doesn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, right. No, you know what I'm saying. I mean, like, I you know. fell for it. Let me say something. Though. You got a franchise with that band. You understand yeah, what I'm saying? That's not the. That's not. Dude, don't even start with that. Got that's to. Not the got point. to talk business to you, my friend. You know friend. what? They made have, too much money. They made too much money. I have to talk business. Too much money too fast. Even when we didn't have any money, we never pushed anything until it was quality stuff. Yeah, but you did work. Rock. That's right. <laughs> yeah, but we you guys still are, You guys could be the been, McDonald's of rock and roll. You understand only, what I'm saying? We've only been off for a year, you guys. We were off for two and a half years Yeah, but when before. was the last album? The right. last album was the Spaghetti Incident, you know, the one with the Manson song. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. <laughs> the Manson song. What the hell did you guys do that one for? I didn't plan Boy, it. That wasn't your fault, right? No, 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 that was Axel. That, that was Axel. Like, Prefer was David Koresh's yeah. Uh, material. Yeah, well, you're going to do that on your new album, right? <laughs> David, the, Move the music, on, that's right. The music of David Koresh. The funny thing about it is 20 other bands have done Manson songs, not to mention that you know Trent Reznor lives in, in Tate's house. Right. I, but all of a sudden, we like throw something out, and it's like taboo all of a sudden. Everybody comes Yeah, but it's cool. It's you guys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it goes with the territory. It's been like that. We're the band that came out. The first press release was a quote from a magazine that said, they'll be great if they live long enough. Yeah. From, yeah. From, from is day anybody, one. Is anybody you know? on heroin now, or uh, no, are I've, we all off? I've been clean. Well, Steven's still on it, but we can't, you know. He's, he's not in the band. I've been right? off for seven years. Well, you don't know if he's on it or off it, quite frankly. <laughs> right? You wouldn't know, though. Be, no, be no. honest. I just, I know people that know him. Yeah, but he, you don't he's, know. He's just trying. Say, no, you, I He's trying to right. get off of it. He's still. Are you really off time. it? Yeah, it's seven years. Wow. I How do you get on that? Yeah, right. <laughs> 
so you take How a little taste once in a while. Trust me, just hang out where we hang out. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm not going on. there. <laughs> I need some more coffee. Do you miss? Do you, do you miss <laughs> it? Do you miss heroin? No, not at all. It was. How can you not miss it though? No, some of the stuff I went through as a result of it, and and some of the. Did you actually shoot it or you snorted it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to jail for you, dude. Why well, no? You're, it's over with. You're off it now. You wouldn't no, go to jail. No, you know I did it the way it was needed to be done. Right, shot. <laughs> you did it the right way. <laughs> hey, listen, you got caught up in it. That's all. That's rock star it stuff. Is, oh, it, it, shut it, up. And it's cool. Like, 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 look at Eric Clapton. He's always bragging how he was on heroin. It's cool to be a rock star on heroin. Let's it, face it. it that's it, part of your. That's part of your it's, thing. It's one of those things that you get so into it, and it, it like it surrounds you for a while, and everything's great. And then as soon as it really gets you in, then all of a sudden the guy that you need to get it from disappears. Yeah, but if you can't, if <laughs> Slash, you, Slash, Slash you're, worth, in you're worth about $100 million. doesn't matter how much can I just say you something? Have, your connection always disappears. That's impossible. If you can't afford to get heroin, then who it's can... It's not about who, affording it. The guy wasn't there. Yeah, but yeah. he could get another guy. He's got, got a million, million dollars. A plane went pain. down. You know, Jesus. someone yeah. got busted. Oh, that's ridiculous. I, no, I, if you can't have a massive supply of heroin, then how could any street junkie have a massive you supply of heroin? You always run out. Yeah, but that's the stuff that you make on the street, and that for people who are doing the real stuff, it, it it's takes not even tons any good. To, yeah, to, to get one. Is it better than an orgasm? You know? When you I'm inject? listening to him. <laughs> Which is better, an it, orgasm or heroin? It took the place of sex for a while. Really? That much? Damn, yeah. you've, had, wow. you've had way too good a life. I always heard it was good. <laughs> you've had way too good a life. You must have been so, you must have been a great man in your previous life. Like you might have been Gandhi or something in order for Why God to reward you. This? Because look how God has rewarded him in this life. This is a reward. Oh. He gets to walk around all day, be cool, get tons of girls and he gets so sick of girls that he just marries one girl and then he gets to do heroin and Let get off Let me ask you a no, question. I, I, I didn't do heroin. When I, if she knew me when I was on dope, she didn't want to meet me in the first place. Right. She had, wanted to have nothing to do with me. I forced myself on her because I saw her and just went, wow. And Axel's clean too? Axel never was. That's one of the, the huge misconceptions about guns. He never was strung out. Yeah, Ever. but is he crazy or something? Because like you know how they he's in saying, therapy, right? Yeah, it's like he mental. No, Axel's fine. To know him, like he wouldn't kick him. my ass or something, would he? Uh, it depends on what you said. To really? Because I have a feeling he would kick my ass. He, 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 he could. Might, you might piss <laughs> him off. Slash, you're more reasonable. He, he's flighty. Really? Yeah, he's like, <laughs> okay. like you could say stuff but to he's him. He's a sweetheart, but he know, can misinterpret something and then kick your ass. But even well, you guys have well, had fights, we've right? Had, we've had some serious yeah. fights, and sometimes over just simple misunderstandings. We had one fight on stage one time where he cut his hand or something, went backstage. And uh, I, I started to cover for it. I said to the crowd, you know, stop throwing this or whatever. And he misunderstood me saying that uh, he thought I said that he went back to do a wardrobe change, came out and just cursed my ass off with the mic. <laughs> I, was, I was like, what the? What did I do? And I was like, for the whole rest of the night, I was like, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> and uh, so we went back and watched the tape and he went, oops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he could, you see, he'd yeah. be a difficult guy to work with. That's that's see, that's a nightmare. That's like, you get into a band like Guns N' Roses. Which has the perfect chemistry, perfect musicianship. It makes perfect songs. I mean, one of those the, albums are all good. One of the reasons, and then you got to deal with like a difficult is guy because of the tension. Is it really? I remember, there's all all kinds. I of, tell you, uh, they do great like concerts because of that tension. Yeah, I like that what, happen. I like when Axel makes everybody wait all night for the concert, and then he gets there and he starts yelling at everybody. And then he gives a lecture <laughs> between each song. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, he lectures the audience. <laughs> well, you know, that's good, man. It's the only it's the only time he gets to vent. You know? Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> what is it? Well, like you want to hear one of the. There's always like a lot of rumors that go on about the band and stuff and one of the rumors was that when you know they did uh sympathy for the devil for that um the soundtrack to that movie yeah natural born killers interview, no, interview no, with the vampire okay one of them we were reading in some magazine it said that you know slash was hoping that this would be a great opportunity to get the whole band back together again right and axel just showed up with all his friends and just like sort of did what he had to do and left and you know it sort of bummed everybody out well no yeah. it wasn't exactly like that we, <laughs> yeah. we were supposed to i figured we would all show up and Duff and Matt and I showed up. So we're sort of like the bricklayers. We got the music down. Then Axel showed up a couple days later with his entourage. Prima Donna. <clears throat> Go ahead. Uh, yes. No, 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 just, just kidding. Don't Come put on. me Go in ahead. that spot. Yeah, I know. I know what you're saying. Close with him. I know. I know. I can't mess it up partner, for you. So hey, I don't, I don't blame you. That's a franchise. Go ahead. If you want to bag <laughs> on him on your own, it's, All right, that's okay. your own thing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we don't even know. <laughs> we don't know him. Yeah, what do we know? If he was here, it would be a whole different story. Oh, yeah. He'd beat my ass. We could all get into it. Yeah. At this time, he would have been all that was cool when he. Didn't he beat Kurt Cobain's ass? or something? No, that was Duff. I think he took on Courtney. Oh, did he? Oh, they got into a fight, yeah. yeah. 
I, I don't know where. I say I never get involved with any of that stuff. I just sort of. Axel beat up uh, Courtney? <laughs> Almost. No. I think Kurt had to they, jump they in. She got, probably needed it. She just got into an argument. <laughs> really? Yeah, she probably should get beat up. <laughs> <laughs> I can go. I can say that. Yeah, I guess so. But, um, you know, just a couple times, you know. Right. Fill the hole, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me see your tattoos, man. I'm, I'm thinking of getting one. You, have, you don't have one yet? No. Oh, all he does dude, is talk. I, all I do is talk about it. Spare earring. I, you know what? I can't I have figure out. Spare earring in my bag. I'll pierce your nipples for you. No, I got oh. a whole bunch of earrings. I don't want. Do you have your that nipple pierced? I like, no, I didn't do that because Axel did his. I did my belly button. I can't deal with getting my nipple pierced. Ralph just did it, and it looks. It, it, he said it, it was so bad. It sore to me, like he, something's wrong. with And it. he said the pain was so bad that he almost passed out. Oof. You know what? There was a point there where Axel was pretty volatile around that time when he got his done. <laughs> yeah, right. That's yeah. pretty. That's this a, this hurts too. Someone came up and hugged. At this point, it doesn't hurt that bad, but it takes. When did you have it done? How many days ago? Three weeks ago. Oh, and it doesn't in, hurt in that bad now? In between takes during a last video shoot. <laughs> really? And they, guy, do they give you an anesthetic or do they just stick it right through? Well, he had some sort of a clamp and he just screwed and, it on and just, and just <laughs> pierced it. Yeah, Bam, I, we huh? were just in the trailer and, and uh, he was an extra that happened to be happened to work at a place called The Gauntlet in L.A. Yeah. And he's this guy, okay, is pierced like twice in his eyebrows. Twice in his nose, yeah. his lips, his tongue, his chin, three in the chin. That's a good look. All right. Both, both, <laughs> how many we go, Why okay, didn't you videotape wait, 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 this? It gets better. Both, both right. nipples, then his penis. button. He's got 14 in his rod. Oh, oh okay. get out of here. Oh, All right, this guy's 14 piercings serious. in his rod? Yeah. Has sex with and girls. And doesn't that hurt, man? And he's got a shaved head with tattoos on his skull, and he's just, he's out there. Really? And so I said, dude, can you pierce my, you know, and so he we went and got some tools, came back. Climbed. You wouldn't pierce your penis, though, would you? Nah, no, I don't have any a, reason You for just that. let anybody no. pierce you, though. You just... No, he's a professional. <laughs> 14 piercings? That's not a penis. That's a flute. Listen. <laughs> what does he do with that? Right. Dude. I asked him, does it make it heavier? Like, you know, through time, does it make it like Can you have longer? sex with it? He, he says so. Really? And some know. girls are into it. Really? I, listen, I was on a, I was on a tour bus. Um, with the crew in the back hanging out. Yeah. And this chick came along and I went, Angela? And it was this girl I hadn't seen in ages, and she looked really different, you know, like a whole different... She used to be really sweet and innocent looking. Now she looks sort of hard, but really still sexy. Yeah. And while she was talking, I went, wait, what's that in your tongue? And she stuck it out, and it was, you know, a pierced Ooh. tongue, a little little bolt, right? Yeah, right. And I was like, Ugh, you know, like, what's that good for? And she went... <laughs> You know what that's good for. That's an oral sex thing. That's what all the girls are doing. They're piercing their tongues for oral sex. Yeah. It's all ball bearings these days. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> it's, it's and when a guy has 14 piercings in his genital, in his, in his penis, it, it, when he urinates, isn't that like a sprinkler? I have no idea. <laughs> I, wonder, I, I, was, what about the, I was like, what about the main track? How do you get that there? post on the back, you know, the thing on the back when you do that to your... Uh, you know what? <laughs> Listen. I mean, I'm glad I, Slash is here, man. He knows a lot of stuff. I he just, has I, lived I, a life. <laughs> he knows about heroin, Piercing and playing music. Oh, everything that's important. To, everything that's important to young people. <laughs> no, you're into the important stuff. No. All right, listen, Slash. Here's what I want to do. You're here with Eric. Has uh -huh. he ever heard one of those phone calls he's made to us? Yeah. Have well, you ever heard it when you were high and you made us? You a know what happened? Can I tell you the story? <laughs> right. I, I know I told you the second time, Brent. All right. I didn't even know really anything about you. I didn't know who you were. Right. I just thought you were just some other DJ. Right. I was in Hawaii escaping my my wife to be. Right. Her, her, she found out that I was messing around. I split town. Right. She, she, uh, that's she a, was mad. Yeah. All right. So I went and visited a friend I hadn't seen since junior high. So me and him and his wife just tore up Hawaii. And I went, I got to be back at the hotel by two to talk to some guy. That's when I called you. I was <laughs> wasted. I mean, because I could have I could have pulled that off with anybody else. But you were like all over me. And I went, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> and then what's her face called? Um. Uh, Sam's Malika Malika, Malika yeah. yeah and she's like Sasha you're drunk I said you're fucking drunk <laughs> <laughs> You, so, caught, you caught that. I one caught of that, the yeah. funniest yeah. phone calls. He's a though. professional. Right. <laughs> you know, I anyway, just want my job. The second time, I got, like, the government after me. The second me. time I called you, I was actually like, oh, this guy's, okay. Right. And so I called you sober. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. I mean, yeah, now, now you're making total sense. Well, you know, you kept me at 2 o'clock in the morning. What would you think? Yeah. I didn't know, you know. So you don't even drink anymore? No, I still drink. Oh, it's, yeah. It's, what is it, 8.30? Yeah, right. I think 5 o'clock somewhere. Now. I think you're going to show up drunk or something. No, I would have. Oh, okay. Having dealt with you before. Well, hold on, because let me take a commercial break. Yeah, take a commercial break. Maybe I'll put some clothes on. <laughs> no, no, you can't put clothes on at this point. <laughs> it's, it's cold in here. It's yeah. hot in here. Is it? Yeah. Well, you're not naked like I am. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's take a break.
right. we'll bond a little during the commercials. I'll try and impress we'll you with who we'll I know. Try and, t- and tune the guitars. That's that's our biggest obstacle. Oh, that's is the that right? Part of the whole day is getting. All right, you guys tune up, and then we'll come back. We'll talk some more about heroin and jewelry and <laughs> and cool stuff. You know, <laughs> <laughs> right, Robin? God. That's what it's all about. I don't advocate Howard. heroin at all. That was no, no. Ages ago. I don't advocate just, you know. any of these drugs, but yeah. I'm just saying that it's well, good. Well, a lot to... of a lot of people think it's you know very hip. It's one of those drugs that's been hanging around. It's not. It's not even so much a designer drug. It's just something to have a certain kind of coolness about. You don't care about anything when you're loaded. Trust me. Really, it's a whole different trip. All you care about is getting your next fix, then dealing what you got to deal with until you get your next fix. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, it's a and, whole and different like, mentality. And like you should be able to deal with I that because you're a rock star, but even, even you couldn't even deal with it. We played with the Stones. I didn't even meet the Stones when we played with them. If you ever see a picture of Guns <laughs> in the Stones, I'm the only guy missing because I was too busy in the limo. Shooting up. <laughs> <laughs> you see, he missed the Stones. And you love the Stones. Yeah, I, I've gotten to know him since. <coughs> I know, the Stones, were, time, the Stones were saying when you were on tour with them that he, they wanted to warn you about drug use and stuff. Right, I was already way past that. Was, <laughs> right, right. It was too <laughs> late for a warning. I was digging you. syringes out of the ceiling. So how'd you get yourself out of it? Like all of a sudden someone I gave you a whole... You know, I oh, went really? through enough bad times I almost actually, actually at one point was the possibility of going to prison. Really? Yeah, and that was like harsh. And then uh, um, I was I was really fu- racked up, you know. Right. I went, good. Went You're back, I was in Phoenix, right. which is a bad place to go to jail. Right. And then uh, we got out of it. I went to L.A. and they I, there was this whole welcoming committee that my mom, and, um, <laughs> the hypocritical Stephen Adler. Uh, oh dear. <laughs> well, hey, still into that. Why are you guys fighting with Stephen? Because he sued him. Anymore. Oh, he sued you? Yeah, I, I don't even want to get into that. <laughs> all right. All right. And all these people, Alan Niven, Duff, you know, I, I walk in this room. Duff was say, there. Oh, there was a whole bunch of them. <laughs> all right. So. And, uh, and that's say, pretty good when, when Duff, telling you to when the whole straight. band of Guns N' Roses has to uh, <laughs> confront you. That's pretty good. And <laughs> right. You must have been in pretty bad shape. They put me in rehab against way against my will. So I went for three days and I saw some people that were really screwed up. Right. I mean, <laughs> Worse than they, you. They brainwash you in rehab. I'm sorry. I'm not an advocate of, of going to rehab. They put you in these groups, and next thing you know, one guy goes in for one thing. They find out that he's got, or he they <coughs> they introduce all these other illnesses that he didn't know he had. Right. <laughs> they and mess you up even more. And, and now he lives there as right. an example. <laughs> yeah. So after three days, I split. And, uh, so and Slash, I, hey, what's I your story? You're, you're like half black or something? Half black, yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. And what's your mother white? No, my mom's my mom's black. My dad's white. My dad's British. My mom's American. Oh, no kidding! It's a trippy family. Mm. They're still together. Them? Yeah. No, they've been together for ages, but they're so hippie-ish at the time. They still to this day are not divorced. Oh, I see. So they, they can be with other people and stuff. <laughs> like, like they can. They, a, yeah, they they're been, even in different locations. Oh, you mean they can swing? No, they've been separated for. It's been like. Uh, God, 15 years now. I think. Are they ever, do they ever hit you up for money and stuff? No. My, no, no, my parents are very, very cool. Are they? Yeah. yeah. I, I'm, I'm really fortunate. I figured you had to come from like a, a, a like a bad upbringing or no, something. No, I came from... Uh, well, I mean, the, my, su- my surroundings <laughs> were weird. But right. That's why I'm not crazy now, as right. far as I know. <laughs> no, you seem pretty <laughs> you know, normal. I don't stress out. That's right. I, I've seen some really... Yeah, didn't your mom date David Bowie or something I yeah, read? Yeah. David's family. He's very cool. Really? Yeah. See, I always thought he was into guys. I guess um, he's not. No, no, no. He, he, he's, you know, he, it was a like very experimental time there going on, you know. Okay, your mom must be real hot. She's, my mom's real I mean, if she got Bowie. Yeah. She's and what's pretty. Bowie's deal? He's into black women? I guess so. Because that's, he married I, a black I woman. Yeah, she's anybody. expecting. Well, there was Angie, though. Yeah, Angie. Yeah. Yeah. Angie's yeah. like the whitest white woman. I guess so. Angie turned him off to white women. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know what yeah, happened. Yeah, but they were still married when my mom was going out with him. I said, I, I don't know. Anything. No kidding. <laughs> but it must have been cool when Bowie was coming over your house. Well, at the time, you know, I was so young that it didn't really make any difference to me. And did Bowie realize you were musically gifted? Uh, no, I didn't. After they sp- separated, I didn't see him for a long time until, uh, God, I must have been about... I don't know, 20, 21 years old when I saw him again. That's We've been friends since. So would you like uh, wake up, like you were a little kid, you would wake up in the morning and Uncle David Bowie would be David, in bed with your mom? David and mom would be praying to the little lamp that they had. <laughs> no they kidding. They prayed to a lamp? Man, what a life you had. You know that little, those little Buddha things, you know, get, get you, Oh, they did all that stuff? Uh, are you kidding? My mom is... <laughs> your mom's a real hippie. Oh, yeah. Very so your mom, spiritual. she had this still, really hot mom. Still to this day, when I talk to her, she she tells me that she prays for me and everything's cool. And like, Really? Okay, mom. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> no, she's she's great to hang out with. She comes out to gigs and she.
she gets all like you know how like young girls get you know, you know like they get all worked up two or three girls that get together and they're all giggling and fun and that's why guys get all turned on it's like right th- she's still like that you no know? kidding yeah real tease wow. <laughs> no kidding yeah, man if your mom is yeah, getting David Bowie your mother. if your mom's getting David Bowie she must be hot yeah it's weird having a hot mom do you ever like see her naked when you were growing up and go wow she's really hot <laughs> No, no, I mean, because like I saw my mom naked once, well, no, and it yeah. made me want to no, puke. No, it was during the, it was during the free love thing. The, my parents, I had to be naked. Right. I had a birthday party, which I'll never forget. I was so embarrassed. I had a birthday party. I couldn't have been any more than like six years old, and all the adults there had a naked pool party, and they threw all the kids into the pool, took their clothes off, threw them. It was like, oh my god, no I kidding. used to go to San Francisco, oh, man. And go to sulfur baths. So you've been having fun your whole life, <laughs> <laughs> dude. He was born in an old. You have time to practice guitar and stuff and learn that. Usually guys who can't get laid play guitar. No. Well, you know what? I was a real outcast in school. When I started playing guitar, it was very easy to concentrate. Trust me. Oh, really? Yeah. Did it you flunk out? It was. I was terrible in school. I went to every school in L.A., but it wasn't until I it didn't give a shit anymore. <laughs> oh, and man. Hit your button. All right. And then, Come on, man. Mellow out with that, will you? <laughs> I'm sorry. Not to smack you around. I don't want to do that. But when, once I didn't care about what anybody was thinking, I just started playing guitar. All of a sudden, it was cool. Right. It's the weirdest thing. And like, like I wasn't aware of this this all of a sudden sudden changeover you know yeah right wow oh. man my upbringing was so sheltered i never got to run around naked well, nobody ever you threw you in a yeah i would have loved if my mother left my father and dated david bowie <laughs> anything would have been cool oh, man. my mother came out with a big david? giant pair of panties never shaved or between her legs oh, nothing please. walking around with all that she was a fine woman yeah oh, no man. kidding your mother's a fox huh yeah she's very pretty Ooh. Yeah, she's real. Sweet, well, you're a good-looking you guy. Meter, you know, I mean, Slash is a good-looking guy. Well, he's right? taking the hair out of his face. I can see him. Yeah, there. I always thought you kept the hair in your face because you weren't good-looking or something. But no, you're a pretty good-looking guy. I just didn't take a shower and I didn't feel like combing in. I just didn't <laughs> right. Yeah. Got any pictures of your mom? Oh. <laughs> no offense. Yeah, no. bring her in the next. No, time. She, yeah, bring she, her with you. If anybody would kick your ass, she would. She would really. Yeah. It, she's really sweet until you piss her off. She's a Libra, you know. No kidding. Yeah. She's thrown some things at me that I just was lucky enough to duck, and there was holes in the wall. What a life you've had, man. <laughs> what a life. Did you ever think Guns N' Roses would be as big as it was? Did we, that take you by surprise? You know, the whole thing with Guns N' Roses is almost exactly the same as what Snake Pit's been doing. Now, Snake just, Pit... Now, Snake Pit... one foot in front of the other, and... And you, see what and, happens. And you just keep going forward. That's all you can do is just... And here we are. And what's the story with Elton John? You've been hanging around with him still? I never have. I've, Axel's I've, got I've a hard on for him, once, right? But he, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Axel likes him. Axel digs him. Yeah. I dig Elton John. No, Elton, I, I grew up cool. listening to him. To me, the funniest video is when you're on stage with Elton John, and like he's trying to look like he's part of Guns N' Roses. <laughs> that's that, pretty funny. On either side of the piano. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Yeah, that's funny because I'm doing a guitar <laughs> solo, I'm like 20 feet in front of the stage, I can't hear the band, and I'm like half a note under key <laughs> and I'm playing the solo like I'm cool right and I I talked to a friend of mine Kirk Hammett from Metallica and he goes I've heard you play better and then I finally got to see it and I was like God I'm a half step left really I, 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 I wouldn't even know that you yeah, it's, yeah if it's offensive that's what it is I like it Anyway, let me take a break. Yeah, I did. Let me take a break. I just like that Elton John's wearing like his very best hairpiece so he can look like a rock star with Guns N' Roses. And you know, usually he's like in a duck costume or something, but like he's on stage with Guns N' Roses, he's got on his rock and roll clothes. Elton John. (laughs) Do I look rock and roll? He's a good guy, though. Is he? Yeah, I've met him. I don't know him well enough. I never judge anybody until... He's got good music. I've seen some real a-holes. Yeah. Who's a real big a hole in rock and roll? Give me a name. Uh, you know what? I'm come not, on, my friend. Come on, come on. Come on. Let's get into that, my friend. Let's get into that. I'll come over there, I'll smack you. Uh, Look at those tattoos, man. Let me see the other tattoo. Oh, no, let me see the other one. one. Yeah. Well, that's a whole thing going on in your arm. Yeah, I, I drew these out on napkins, just like the pinball machine, <laughs> drawing things out. And, and then you put it on your arm. Is, my house is filled with napkins that I doodle on. Really, hey, doodle yeah. me up a tattoo, man. I don't know what's cool anymore. Oh, I could doodle it. All right, tattoo. doodle it up. All right, not too major like that, though, man. I can't take Something the little commercial. Something small. Commercial. Something small. Notice how I got off the subject. All right, let's take a break, and then you're going to tell me who's an a-hole in rock and roll. <laughs> Give me one name. All right, we'll be back right after this. Now, now, there's a couple of songs on this new album yeah. that are uh, about uh, guys killing themselves, right? Like Kurt Cobain and John, mm. right? Just inspired by. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Kurt and Savannah. Savannah. You dug him or no? Um, I just thought it was the whole thing was sad. I don't know him, so I don't judge him at all. Just, I thought the whole thing was sort of it's such a cop out, as far as I'm concerned. You know, right? It's like, well, but it's, it really is just a sort of muscle reaction to pull the trigger. So you might have thought differently, like halfway through the second. But have you ever thought about pulling the trigger on yourself? No, never. No, no way. Not the way, not the life you're leading. 
<laughs> when did he have time? <laughs> yeah, right. You're having so much sex <laughs> and running around I'm, naked I'm, I'm, that uh, I'm doing a lot of working. Yeah, I know. So, you know. Yeah, but it's cool kind of work. Work just, that you it, like doing. It yeah, it's weird. hanging around a studio with guys you like. Yeah. When when, when I, I, we were in the studio, uh, Eric and I wrote the lyrics and the melodies for every song on the record. Like we go in, write the lyrics and the melodies, and record the vocal that night. Right. So it was whatever was going on at the time. And I got a phone call from Gilby one day, and he goes, "I don't know if you know anything about this, but Savannah just." shot herself right i was like oh christ you know that's all i needed to hear because regardless you don't want anybody to, to do no that. yeah right you know, we weren't married or anything but at the same but you time, had a little bit of a thing going you know yeah right and so we ended up he, he and i hang out ended up with a uh, lower which is a song on the record that night these guys are like hippies or something you know what i mean like free love and <laughs> that's kind of cool you know what i feel really sorry for the generation of kids that are about 11 and 12 and 13 coming up right now only because there's so much stuff that I just managed to catch on to that you you can't gone. do anymore it's gone. Yeah. right you know and that's sort of a drag because there's a lot of experience to be had and all that what you do you know? think you're worth oh I don't know you have no idea how much you're worth I don't like to are you worth about on, 100 million dollars no. could you buy anything you want um, after the earthquake, no. Do you, have a, <laughs> do you have a cool house? It's, 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 it's a, you live in a it's castle? A, it's a shell of its former self at the moment. Right now it's being flooded. Not only was the earthquake bad enough, but it's What do you live on, 100 in, acres? No, are you kidding? What do I'm, you live in? Like a, I live in a two-bedroom house. You're kidding. What the hell do I need anything else? I about? mean, but you've got you've got tons of dough. Why don't you just like spend some on because yourself? Because it's it, that's boring. You know? Really, that's really boring. And point. besides, in L.A., you have to keep rebuilding. So. Yeah, well, yeah, just to live in a two. <laughs> yeah, but you don't even have to live in L.A. That's expensive. Enough. Why do you live in L.A.? You don't even have to. You could because live anywhere I'm in the world. I'm from there, and I'm familiar with things there. And business is there, and like, Geffen's down the street. You know, it's right. convenient. I'm familiar with it. And I know people there. You know, okay, all right. Take whatever. it easy, man. I don't want you getting upset. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to find out what you're doing with your money. And what do you do? You got Are you all invested in everything? Yeah. And like you actually. Keep I put my money away. I don't, if I don't need it, I don't just... What, are you in the market? Or you got bonds and I got, stuff? you know, stuff in the bank. T-bills and all that kind of stuff? Hello. Yeah. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. He's not, kind he, of not rock stars to talk T-bills. Yeah, but, you know, <laughs> come on. Uh, let's find out. I mean, I like to know what's going on. It must be great. Now, Eric's, you know. Eric, if this, if this record hits, <laughs> yeah, you're going you know, to be looking at T-bills. I could too. be investing as well. That's right. <laughs> but right now, my credit cards are maxed out. So. That's right. Now, Eric, what's your story? You bought you, me a drink yesterday, though. Yeah. That was cool. We're at the... So you hooked up with Slash. You guys got the record deal now. And now yeah. it's time to produce. I mean, How does album... that happen? How do you hook up with a Slash? I mean, that's like a big uh, deal. I was playing with uh, Gilby Clark's yeah. drummer, Mark Dan. Size and, and uh, he told me about it, and I was like, Oh, there's no way he wouldn't want me to sing for him. I, you felt kind of funny asking you know, him, a little intimidated, right? I, I sent in a tape, and uh, and he dug it. He was yeah, very yeah. prompt calling me back. So, you write the music, and Eric writes the lyrics. That's the way this particular, you know, I bet you Axel's jealous of Eric. I have no I idea. I bet you Axel hopes it doesn't Axel's, work. I don't think Axel's even ever heard the record. Don't you think no, Axel hopes secretly that it fails so that you'll come running back with him? Um, I, I'm gonna go back anyway, right? Exactly. This all is right. my home, but right, I don't think right. he's worried about it. I bet you're worth more money than Axel. I bet you he's uh, pissed away a lot of his money. Um, true? True or false? I don't think so. No, he's mm -hmm. pretty smart. Really? Seriously? Yeah. Trust Damn. Me. I'm finding out everything I need to know. The only thing he's got going that's a pain in the ass for him right now is, is the whole Stephanie Seymour lawsuit. Yeah, now what's going on with that? I'm just waiting to see when it goes to trial. Now he claims Stephanie Seymour beat him up, right? You know what? I wouldn't be surprised. She's really pulling the stops on him. I mean, she's taking him for what he's... And then his ex-wife comes out of the woodwork and pulls it, too. It's like five years later. And so he's tied up. up. He's tied up in litigation. Yeah, so I'm just... This is going to... We're going to be touring. The record comes out February 14th. We start in April. From April through, uh, say, beginning of August or July, you know, July or August, whatever it turns out to be, um, we're just going to play clubs and, and tour as much as we can and just sort of back-to-back -back gigs and just go out and... You know, be real easy going, no pressure kind of thing. I want to thank Slash and Eric for stopping by today. You know what? Thanks for having Thanks. Me. Did you have a good time, you guys? Yes. Yeah, yeah that was, was a lot really of fun. fun. Okay, How'd it go? Uh, it was fun. Oh, this is, we had Countdown to Stern. It was like day five, day four, day three, day two. We finally get here, and he was awesome. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if he was going to, like, try to rub me the wrong way on purpose or what he was going to do, and he was really cool. really famous for our show, our listeners know, it's called Back of the Door. It's, the, it's 10 years of people said the girl sending us naked oh, pictures. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is uh, Howard Dawson. Oh, it's good. 
Thanks. We're showing the gang the back of the door. This is the infamous back of the door. So it's fucking legendary. In fact, Billy Joel looked at this. Come on, we don't care if Billy Joel looked at it. Yeah, what could he possibly say that we're going to say? Oh, yeah. It just goes on. Slash audio? That's my favorite one. I don't know why. There's something wrong on a hundred different levels. It's very Russ Meyer. There's fucking like How about the guy? Look at this. That's that's nice. That was that's this nice. was this was backstage at our New Year's Eve show. <laughs> Like yeah. a, look at that one. It's like a fucking flashy hammer. What the? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah that was a chastity belt. Um, yeah, that's funny. Oh, oh, that's God. fucking funny. I don't, I don't, maybe I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a second. America's you, a great you know who that is, Slash? Do you know who this is? What, what about right after that? No. Oh, it's like yeah. Judy Tanuri. <laughs> <Tenere. laughs> <laughs> 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 she does suck. <laughs> 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 this is she comes on our show a lot. Uh, um, so many people we know and some of them we don't know. Yeah, we should have. If I'd known, we would have brought you some. <laughs> <laughs> um, that girl's been on our show a bunch of times. She's been on our show a bunch of times. She's in the pay-per-view. She was on our pay-per-view. Uh, this was, this uh, is a good one. That's, this a, that's this sort of interesting. See, I didn't go as far as to do that, but then I don't have one of those anyways. Yeah, you need to have a little... um. Foreskin action happening. Wait a second, you want to really fucking vomit? Look at this one. What's going on there? There's a hundred different things going on. It looks like a tree stump center. It ain't a her. Oh, no, is that a cucumber? It, that guy's got guy. balls oh, in his Oh, that's right, I didn't see that. <laughs> wow, you gotta catch, you gotta yeah, click on those ones. I like the, the black one. Look at this one, though. Look at this guy. Sometimes the plumbing gets. Look at the, look at the caption. He's got a fucking <laughs> Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> this is Yo, good. show him uh, where's that? the pussy smoking a cigar. Where's that? Right in the middle. What in the middle? Right oh, right here, there you go. There's a pussy oh. smoking a cigar. <laughs> it's lit and everything. Yeah. There's a dog fucking well, a cat. Some really, um... <laughs> All right, I got this is my favorite. <laughs> this that, one, I don't know how late that one is. Look at this one. What do you think of that? <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta have. Show them the two already. grandmothers going at so, it. We my, did. This is sort of my favorite. This, but we know these girls. This was backstage at our pay per view at the dressing room. She was. Um, that's this is exactly. almost awesome. <laughs> pretty good. They're all good. Wow. You just made our whole fucking day. The train ride's not good. If I could only, if I could give you the door, I would. <laughs>